Wow. <laughs> it's... It's dead. So, Abyssrium World, which changed its name to the absolutely horrible Hello Whale Idol Aquarium, has been terminated. Uh, since it's an always online game, you, uh, I guess you just can't play it. Um, <laughs> I, I did get this information from someone in my Discord, and I confirmed it on Reddit. I haven't downloaded, I haven't had the game downloaded in like a year. Um, what can I say, but... I'm not surprised. Flero Games continuing what they do best, which is... suck. Um, yeah. When the game came out, it was kind of okay. It was a big change from the gameplay, and was frankly pretty much just, uh... Farmville, but Abyssrium. Kind of Abyssrium. Um, and they... The thing is, they never updated it. They, they, they never added anything except for the events, and the events were just, like, the same exact thing. And half of the fish were, like, kind of semi-stolen from the original game, and the other half were, like, the hideous fish that you, like, make for the events. Oh, those were so ugly. Um, I, I guess I'll just, you know, so you're not watching this still image all screen, I'll just show you what it, what it used to look like. Dark Silent Abyss. <laughs> That's what it is now, my friends. So this is from my stream, my first look stream of the game. And now my last look. So <sighs> They had this whole like ad campaign. They had this like they they had this stupid um well actually fairly fancy uh tutorial or not tutorial. Um hey, don't you hate that when you, when you look at a thing and your brain just says, "Say that word." It's like, "No. <laughs> what I meant to say was uh the trailer." Which made it look all fancy, like this big underwater world, and then it's just waiting for timers to come down, and and it was gosh upon because of course it was. It was a it was a mobile game made in 2020. Of course it was gosh upon, and they tried to pretend there was this whole like environmental theme, <laughs> which kind of peters out immediately, and you just you know you pick up trash, everyone's favorite activity, and um, <sighs> drag those fingers upward, my friends. Can we get an can we get an F in the Discord? Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't say you put an F in the comments. That'll be bad. Um, yeah. So um, I would recommend not wasting money on the games. I mean, I've recommended that for years, but um, it seems like <laughs> it seems like oh hello. <laughs> I love I love my old streaming setup. I would accidentally. Photo bomb us all with my lovely, completely safe for work wallpapers. I'm just gonna leave it in. I'm not. I'm not editing that. That's you. You can deal with that. I don't care. Uh, I care as much as the developers care. How about that? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the Flero Games never really gave a crap. Um, expect Abyssrium um, Icy Boy Edition. Abyssrium Pole. Expect that to die soon. Um, the main game eventually. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it, it died. You know, a couple of years ago when they stopped adding hidden fish, stopped adding new features. At least, stopped adding new features that weren't gosh upon. So, this is just me trying to figure out my emulator. Let me skip forward. There we go. But, uh, the graphics were okay. The music, the literally one track, was okay. Everything else, like, people defended it. It's, it's one of those mobile games where early on the progression is okay, and it tricks you into thinking it's fun. And this is why I hate mobile games, by the way. This is why I got a Play Pass subscription, and I don't think I'm ever going to play a video game on mobile that isn't either premium or on Play Pass, because you know, I don't want to make this sound like an advertisement for Play Pass, but they're real games. There's no gosh upon. There's no ads. You just play the goddamn game. And, you know, I, I, I like to play video games. I, f I forgot about the packing peanuts that you get. Greatest item. But, I mean, I've got a, you know, a PS5 here. I've got, I can play, you know, actual video games on my PS5, on my Switch, on my PC, and on my phone. Yes, there are premium games on the phone. Um, this game just did not respect your time. The developers never gave a crap. And you know what? It doesn't even necessarily matter that the game launched with, you know, really slow grind and blah blah blah. You're supposed to update your game, you know, respond to feedback, improve things, add new stuff. And Flaro Games never really got that part. Flaro Games never really communicated with the community. Uh, they never... <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do with community, by the way. Communicate, commune, yeah. Um, they never really gave a crap. They never updated it. 
the the events were boring and it seemed like as far as I could tell I would bet I would be willing to bet that they just pre-made several months worth of events and once they ran out of events they're like okay this wasn't profitable and they just didn't that's right Parker they just didn't care about anything <sighs> Mew. so several people like years ago people thought I was famous for Abyssrium stuff and not really Abyssrium has never been my most watched video by the way um, I'm not sure why my most watched video is what it is but um, yeah old flash games are my most watched videos actually um, but now this game is even deader than flash because hey you can still play flash games I have a video on that you can use an emulator um, you can install a really old version of flash which I don't recommend or you can use flax flashpoint there's lots of ways to play flash now uh, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> there's zero ways to play this game. Um, there might be an old APK, but it was always online, so I don't think that even works. Which is why I don't play always online games for the most part. I mean, yeah. I had my first MMO death happened when I was... Um, whenever Trickster Online died. So, I was, I was pretty young for that, and I, I never forgot that. And I was always like, okay, that, this isn't happening again. But yeah, the, 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 this game's flaws were numerous. Um, mostly the fish, the fish being random and Gashapon was really unpleasant. So you would put all these materials and you'd spend all this time grinding, and then you would get like the 15th duplicate of the one common fish that you already got, and then other fish were rarer and you didn't get those. And I was like, oh my god, and it just, it was a miserable experience. And there just really wasn't much to do. You just came here, you tapped on a bunch of crap, and you spun your fish gush upon, you didn't get what you want, and then it's time to stop playing for like a few hours. This is not much of a good game, to my mind. And apparently it didn't make money, I can't imagine why. Uh, yeah. It really sucks because, man, the original Abyssrium, they really had something magical. They had, you know, it's such a weird, like, just a, a happy rock undersea. The art style was great. It was just chill, and there wasn't too much in the UI. The UI wasn't too complicated. Look look at this. Look at this. It's literally Farmville. If you've never played Farmville, it, it's this, except Farmville was 2D. This problem, I'm sure this is a 3D Farmville right now, and I'm sure it looks even more like this. And look, look at that UI. Look at that. I hate it. This is like halfway to an MMO, man. This is supposed to be a mobile game. This is supposed to be a chill game. There's, there's four currencies at the top left. There's three more currencies just below that. There's three different notification nags at the bottom left. There's four main menu items on the bottom right. Um, and there's some other menu on the top right. I think that one's closable, but I, I don't remember. And there's another premium currency on the top right. And there's a shop icon that you can't get rid of no matter what. Love that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can, can, you, can you tell I didn't like the game? So, it's dead. What is there to say <laughs> beyond you know all of the things I've already said? Um, the main game will probably last longer than Pole. Pole, they really stopped upgrading Pole a while ago. They realized, uh, I guess, that they didn't want people to keep getting the uh, you know unlocking things and having fun. So they changed the way the events work. I never really learned how because. The, it just it wasn't a good game anymore. Just <laughs> the Abyssrium pole. It was an it was the peak of that thing where like it tricks you into thinking you're having fun. Like the first fifty percent of the game's content happens in like a few hours. It's like holy crap! I'm making all this stuff. I'm seeing new cool critters, and then the last half of the content it starts taking like a whole week of like the most boring, mindless crap to unlock one thing, and it's like, oh, it's, yeah, um, and then the event critters, the event critters got really bad in poll, they, man, and the, the main game, I've complained enough about the main game, but they stopped doing, um, the events never had hidden fish, they were always the exact same thing, it was just a massive grind, and, that's really all there is to it. And like I said, the UI, there's just so much. There's just so much crap on screen. Uh, you can't get rid of it. Also, this thing always gave me, like... This thing always made me feel weird. I don't like that thing. The, like, holes in it. Like, I know they say that that 
hole in item phobia thing isn't like real but like it does make things look creepy and I don't like that guy I don't like the seaweed factory screw him I don't want to feed him pa packing peanuts Anyway, this made me realize I had never done a one-hour Abyssrium World, um, like, music thing to put in the playlist, so I guess I'll have to do that. Hi, Parker. My cat's like, stop being mad at video games and pet me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, for, for those people who are like, why, why don't you just only do Tap Tap Fish videos? Um, this is why, because I knew someday it would go under. Um, I never really liked the game that much to begin with. It used to be good. I used to really enjoy it. Um, but more than anything, I, I like the community. I like talking to people. I like when there was a new event or a new update. Everyone would rush to find the hidden fish. We would all talk to each other. Remember talking to each other? I like talking to people. It's, it's fun sometimes, you know? And if you like talking to people, maybe you should come to our Discord, or tap.com slash Discord. Um, so, I used to like the community aspect. And, oddly enough, the hidden fish was just enough to add a multiplayer aspect to a completely single-player game. With basically no interaction. Yeah, they eventually added the Facebook feature, then they removed the Facebook feature. Which, literally, <laughs> literally, Facebook changed an API, and instead of fixing it, they just removed it top quality stuff right there and then they released this new game and it had a facebook feature and then they killed this new game oh man this this game is just pure concentrated wasted potential the original devs i will say the original devs uh, they never gave a crap about um translation it was buggy they had the hundred dollar um harp seal or whatever it was it had a little bit of mobile cringe it had a little bit of mobile over monetization it had a little bit of developer doesn't care itis but the original developers did a pretty good job then it got sold to cheetah mobile well then it got popular it did get a little icky a little icky with the monetization stuff but until cheetah mobile it really wasn't that bad then flaro games takes over <laughs> And that's the sad part. We were all so excited because we thought, oh man, we're going to get something new. We're not going to have Cheetah Mobile pooping all over things. And then Flareo Games <laughs> starts shutting the games down. Oh boy. But yeah, I, I got kind of off topic, which, you know, it tends to happen. But I like the community aspect. But then they removed Hidden Fish. They stopped adding new features. And when there's no new features, I make guides, I make videos talking about the game, I make, you know, updates, update videos, update streams, checking out the new stuff. But they stop putting new stuff. And if there's nothing to make a guide for, I, the guide maker, I can't make any guides. Um, I don't have any reason to really talk to the community, and, you know, people in the community don't have any reason to talk to me, or talk to each other. And the community just fell apart. And it's so bizarre, because literally all they had to do was make up a bunch of wacky, stupid unlock conditions um, every month or two. Um, only one or two of them really had to be novel. Most of them were kind of repeats. You just didn't know what they were, so you still had to look. They didn't really have to be all that creative. Um, and honestly, <laughs> I'm sure they weren't quite that petty, but it's it really felt like the developers, like... <laughs> If, if you wanted to do anything, despite me, personally, there was nothing you could do. Nothing you could do that would spite me stronger than to remove the hidden fish. That That's where all of the traffic came from. That's where all the interest was from. That's where the whole community formed on, was looking for the dang hidden fish. They removed it. Gone. Uh, I still do get some views for the game, <laughs> which that probably will peter out as they <laughs> almost certainly kill the game. Um, so that's a damn shame. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> this... <clears throat> I'm gonna talk my throat apart. Um, man. Me. What else is there to say? Also me. Destroys my throat talking about... <laughs> for like 20 minutes about... Ugh. Anyway. Enjoy the remaining bits of the game if you can. Hey, 
Let me know in the comments what you've been playing, because, geez, obviously it won't be a mystery for very long, will it? Um, let me know in the comments what you've been playing. I've been playing Kyrosoft games. They make those pixel uh, management sim games. You know, they can be a little simple and all that stuff, but uh, they're fun games, and I, I enjoy them. I've been playing the um, Pocket Clothier, I think it is, the one where you run a clothing shop, obviously. Getting close to the end. Having a good time. That's uh, a little easy, and the the taxing, the inventory thing is the dumbest feature I've seen Kyrosoft ever do, but it's really not a huge deal. But... Pour one out for Bissarium World. It was never really that great. I didn't want them to shut it down, though. I wanted them to make it, you know, not suck. I never really rejoiced at seeing a game get shut down. Unless it's like, you know, an NFT or something. Um, you know, or like exploitative labor conditions or... <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> not happy to see it go, but not surprised and... To be honest, if you never got to play it, you're really not missing too much. My my drink is just ice. I love that when it's just ice in your water bottle. Hi, Parker. Parker's like, shut up and pet me. So I'm going to shut up and pet my cat. <laughs> I'm going to do what he wants. He might claw me in my sleep if I don't. So, Bistrium World is toast. I fully expect a Bistrium poll to go within a couple of months. The main game, I would I would guess, a year at most. I mean, they can keep the main game running with very little support, but the thing is, they could have kept this thing running with very little support. So, yeah. <sighs> bye bye, Abyssrium, I guess. <laughs> and and now you know why I don't put all my eggs in one basket. I I cover lots of stuff. I. I check out new things because if you become the one guy that you know the plays the one thing that thing's gonna be gone eventually anyway <laughs> remember to like comment subscribe check out my other videos I got tons of videos on tons of other games if you don't know what to play I'm sure you can find something really cool for any platform on my channel well any modern one if you're playing on, like, PC98, which, hey, good taste. Um, I don't have anything on that yet. I would like to play that, though. It's really cool-looking anime games on that. Really amazing, like, pixel art dithering. It's really cool stuff. Anyway, this is, this is beyond the point where I ramble, so I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like I said, comment what you've been playing, what you want to play, what you'd like to see me do videos on in the comments. That's, that's where the comments go. They go in the comments.